Uh, good morning, teachers and students. Today I'm here to present my paper titled Efficient, Exact, and uh, Approximate Betweenness Centrality Computation for Temporal Graphs. Uh, my name is Jay Zhao uh, from School of Computer Science at Zhejiang University of Technology. Next, I will introduce this paper from the following five aspects. Part one, uh, Betweenness Centrality is a centrality Based on shortest path, it's widely used uh, uh, for its importance in graph analytics. It can be applied into epidemiology research, transmi transmission of information, and the brain disease research. And nowadays, many real world graphs are time varying and modeled as temporal graphs, uh, such as toy temporal social network. Vertex presents individuals, and the edge um, presents uh, fleeting. Context. Uh, bit, uh, vertex with high business centrality, such as V1, V2, and V3, are, are, cru are crucial to uh, are crucial for identify identifying super spreader to control infectious disease. Um, at the same time, computation uh, uh, business computation on the temporal graphs uh, presents more challenge. Uh, first, there are various definitions of temporal paths. Com uh, commonly used include shortest, earliest, and the fattest temporal paths. Uh, second, uh, existing method uh, on general graph uh, uh, the, uh, based on recursive dependency accumulation, uh, um, which is evaluated on temporal graph. For temporal graph, Optimal, optimal temporal path loses a critical property uh, called optimal substructure property. And uh, finally, uh, uh, existing methods have been proved to have high, to have high uh, time capacity. Mm, it's not easy to count all the optimal temporal paths. And uh, so the research of approximate between the centrality algorithm become more important. Um, part two, uh, this page shows the definition of the temporal betweenness centrality, where V is the number of vertex in temporal graphs. Uh, sigma S Z denotes, uh, denotes the number of optimal temporal paths from S to Z, and sigma S Z V denotes the number of optimal temporal paths from S to Z that V goes through. Uh, we in order to um, com com in order to calculate temporal betweenness of each vertex, we devised a uh, temporal dependency. Uh, temporal dependency, uh, mm, temporal dependency turn uh, cal uh, cal uh, temporal betweenness of uh, each vertex into uh, accumulative calculation of importance of each vertex, each vertex instance based on different timestamps. On part three, um, for ETBC, uh, we we devise a temporal te time instant recurrent or uh, original time time, tem tem temporal graph into time instance graph. Uh, the vertex and the edge uh, will be transformed. The specific transformation rule is whether the uh, successor temporal edge can be reached by predecessor temporal edge. And we also define the uh, local optimal time pass and the flag. Local optimal optimal temporal pass refers to the optimal temporal pass from any uh, starting starting vertex to any vertex instance obtained by traversing the time instance graph as the local optimal pass for the sake of distinction of real or called global optimal temporal pass from S to W in the original temporal graph. Flag indicates the whether the local optimal temporal pass is the global optimal temporal pass, such the local shortest temporal pass from A to Y two. It's also the global or real or called real temporal pass, so the flag Y two equals to one. But uh, the local shortest temporal pass from A to Y six is not the uh, global shortest temporal pass, so the flag Y six equals zero. And the main pro the main procedure of ETBC is that in the first stage, the top-down breadth first traversal is used to calculate the optimal temporal path. Uh, and we need to record information about 
and the number of uh, global or local optimal paths and uh, global or local distance and, and the flag uh, and the flag and the predecessor for vertex instance. In the second stage, based on the temporal dependency accumulation theory, uh, TBC values are intuitively calculated in a button-up way. Uh, the temporal dependency accumulation theory has been proved in this paper. Uh, I, will, I will illustrate uh, an example of recording my information. When the optimal distance equals 1, uh, we can record the information about B1, B3, and uh, X1. When the optimal distance equals 2, we can record C5, C7, M4, and the Y2. When the optimal distance equals 3, we can record uh, other other vertex instance information. Um, you can calculate uh, temporal dependency of each vertex instance by um, uh, based on the uh, information recorded on the previous page. Uh, we found that some vertex instances have the same uh, temporal dependency, so we devised a compressed time instance graph. Um, by, comp comp by, by compressing um, partially vertex instances have the have the uh, equivalent vertex instance and uh, discard the unwanted incoming and outgo outgoing temporal edges. Such D8, D9, D10, they have the same incoming and outgoing temporal edges, so they will be compressed into D8, N10. And C5, C7, they only have the same incoming edges, so they mm, so they will discard unwanted incoming and outgoing edges. Um, uh, um, by compressed time instance graph, we devise the optimized temporal dependency. When we uh, need to calculate the temporal, uh, the optimal temporal pass, we need to multiply the identity. Uh, where identity presents the the number of equivalent vertex instance, so we can calculate. Uh, you can record the information and uh, calculate tem temporal dependency more quickly. No, also provides a approximate temporal opportunist centrality algorithm. It uses heuristic sample sampling vertex pairs, and we devise a derived upper bound by read merger average. The main pre the main procedure of of ADBC that in first introduce the number of samples and calculate an approximate. TBC according by OTBC, if derived up bound is greater than the preset value epsilon, then calculate the number of samples for the next iteration. Otherwise, return the approximate TBC values. Um, part four, uh, we use thirteen datasets in on the experiment. Um, the table shows the number of tests and edge edge on the temporal graph. Uh, temporal instance graph and the compressed time instance graph. So, the compression uh, have VC ratio and EC ratio, which present vertex the number uh, the vertex and the edge compression respectively. Uh, first, so we found that uh, time instance graph is from four to five or five times larger than that in the original temporal graph, and the number of edge in the comp and in the transform time since graph is from six to six hundred and fifty one times larger. Um, VC ratio and EC ratio are the injury in the range of 0.1 to 0.8 and 0.2 to 1 respectively. We show the eff effectiveness of the compression strategies. Um, per the performance of the of exact algorithm based on ST on shortest temporal pass. Uh, we found that the computation cost of OTBC is between 9 and 525 times larger than that of compression algorithm. The compression algorithm runs out of memory on massive data sets. In contrast, uh, on mass overflow, OTBC can complete the TBC compu computation in 26, 26 minutes. Based on the other optimum time pass, OTBC is faster than other algorithms. Based on various the temporal paths, and uh, the 
compression algorithm cannot be applied to ETP and uh, FTP. And the performance of OTBC shows that uh, ATBC is faster than the OTBC and it also promotes KDD uh, or also promotes our compression algorithm by up to um, 28,447 and 194,263 times. Um, part 5. Uh, the main contribution uh, is that we developed a new temporal dependency accumulation theory and de designed TBC for efficiently computing is that exact TBC values and divides a lossless compression method to reduce the scale of the time instance graph and then propose the OTBC algorithms. And we pro propose high quality approximate method called ATBC. In the future work, we, we, want we will investigate more efficient approximate method and compute other graphs that statistical features. Thank you for listening.